set up the power position, right? We set up a good heel toe. We kind of rotate down. We're gonna put that shot up. We're gonna feel our block arm here. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Rare Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about that nasty smash, or as we like to say, the punch in the shot. So here's what we are going to be covering, the punch drill. This is a simple drill that we teach at our throwing chain reaction camps when we tour around uh, the US and even internationally. And what one of the things that we do is a very simple drill that's designed to teach the very connection of staying connected to the shot. So what we talk about inside the throwing chain reaction is that we have pillar or position drills and we have throwing drills. This is a throwing drill where we're actually concentrating on the motion and sequence of the throw. So this video is all about the punch drill. The punch drill is really simple. And again, if you're a throwing chain reaction member, we talk more extensively on the punch drill, but this is a really good drill if you find yourself pulling away from the shot or you're not being able to get that nice straight connection to the ball. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kind of look at the this angle and this angle simultaneously. And one of the things that we do is we set up. We wanna set up in our power position, right? So again, what we talk about in the system is pillar five, how we set a stack, we set the angle, we load, and we're gonna turn our knees into the throw. This is the position. If you look at the best throwers in the world, let's look at Ryan Krauser, right? What does he do so well? He pushes that hip through and he stays very low to the ground. There's not a lot of elevation at the finish. He is down working the ground and the delivery leg comes through nice and low to the ground. So one of the things that we talk about is we want to feel the, the engagement of the block. We want to feel the engagement of the block arm, the block leg, and we want to feel the hip moving and we're just going to feel the punch. Now, when we do this, the shot is going to say thumb down elbow up and you're going to be pushing the shot out this way. The elevation is going to come from the leg. So we want the chest up. And if you haven't seen that video where we talked about chest up versus chest up, watch that video because you want to be here and the lift comes from the legs as you come through and you're driving through and that shot is pushing out. With the punch drill, this is one of the things we talk about. The shot is more aggressive. It's heavier, it's bigger, right? And it's sitting on top of you, so you really have to strike it out. What you see with a lot of kids is doing this, or they're taught to pull their arm back. If you're taught to block with the arm past you, you always wind up this way. So just like a punch in boxing, we wanna see the hips, the block side, right? This side would be up to protect the face, but this side is hard and they punch with the hip and this gives what gives delivers the knockout punch. So we want to deliver the knockout blow in the shot. And the way we want to feel that is to feel this connection. We set up the power position, right? We set up a good heel toe. We kind of rotate down. We're going to put that shot up. We're going to feel our block arm here. Krauser tends to be here. The majority of rotational shot putters here, Krauser is still out. The arm is still out. So even if you do this, you're going to feel this position. And you want to feel the long connection to the shot, which is going to be teaching you to feel how that right side, delivery side is gonna be moving around and out past the block leg. So when we put the shot in our hand, the punch drill is a very simple drill. We just kind of come here, we're down on the legs, we set the chest down the right sector, we brace the block, we flex up the block arm and the block leg because this is gonna be stopping and you're gonna be driving out. So we're gonna feel that block leg is flexed, we're pushing, now notice how it's flexed. It's straight, but it's not hyperextended, okay? And we're not up on the toe. We're flat foot, we're down, and all we're gonna do is push, feel this stop, and you're gonna feel that, right? Remember, this is a very simple drill just to help you feel the block engagement, block arm engagement. You feel the block side, you feel this side is already kind of pre-turned. You just feel this and you feel how this hip's already moved. And we talk about this, the hip has to be forward, the shoulder has to be here so you can feel that nice delivery and that big strong connection, which is a long time of pushing and creating that extension over the board. Now, we'll show you a few clips. You see some athletes doing it. 
it's a lot harder than it looks. It's unnatural. And again, this is what we call as one of our feeling based drills. So this is a drill that's inside of our system and we go through it a little bit more extensively than we've gone here, breaking down some things and then showing corresponding drills to tie into it as we put together the complete throwing motion and move into that punch and feel that nice reverse. So hopefully you guys can give that a try. Stay nice and firm. Keep the arm engaged, feel everything flexed up, and feel the thumb stay down and push that shot out where it's barely above the shoulder, right here, and feel that nice connection of this. And you're gonna see a lot of athletes are pulling away. And if you're pulling away, you wanna integrate a lot of punches into your training because it's gonna help you to feel that connection on your full throw, and that is gonna translate to more distance fast. Okay, guys, so thanks so much for watching. Be sure to turn on uh, notifications, likes, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. Let us know if you have any questions, and we will see you guys on the next video. Take care.